a bunch of fire GRs, a bunch of dope collabs, as well as teases for upcoming ALD 550s and the upcoming Teddy 16, March was definitely an interesting month. Hey guys, welcome to this month's episode of Best New Balance Releases and Reveals. In this episode, I'm going to go over the Best New Balance Releases and Reveals of the month of March. Uh, any New Balance that released in March or any New Balance that was first revealed or leaked in March will be highlighted in this video. So first, I'm going to go over the notable general releases that were released in the month of March. First off, we have the 2002R in the Sweet Caramel Rain colorway. This colorway is very clean and the shade of tan or golden brown used on this shoe is really nice. Uh, it's a great fall colorway. I know um, it's almost springtime, but it's a fire colorway nonetheless very clean, can definitely go with any outfit, and it's yet another fire 2002R GR. This year has already had a bunch of great GR and collaboration 2002Rs, and as you'll find out later in this video, um, there's going to be even more 2002R releases and reveals. Next up, we have a 997H colorway, uh, this colorway being the Workwear Incense and Red colorway. Uh, the 997H, for those of you who don't know, is like the cheaper, slimmed down version of the classic Made in USA 997. Um, almost all the time, the 997H retails for less than $100, which is really nice. It's a very affordable silhouette. And sometimes the colorways are just really fire and underrated. This colorway is definitely one of the best 997H colorways of 2022. Uh, the, I mean, the, the shades of workwear and incense and the pop of red around the shoe is just so fire. And next up, we have the first ever colorway of the Kawhi 2 in the Pure Money colorway. As you can probably tell, it's heavily inspired by the $100 bill, and there was also a Kawhi 1 in the same colorway. I'm not 100% sure on the story, but I think it's definitely an interesting colorway, and it's really cool to see the second Kawhi signature model. Next up, we have a New Balance 550, this time in a triple black colorway. There's not much to say about this colorway. I mean, it's triple black, it's um, a 550, 50. Um, it's completely black. It's very clean. Um, I'm not too sure um, how many people really wanted this shoe. I wasn't really too big of a fan of the shoe and uh, I'm, I'm sure as we probably all know the stereotype between the triple black Air Force One and this shoe kind of resembles that shoe so I'm not too sure how many people really want it especially with that stigma attached to it but it was definitely a notable release of March. And next up we have a very clean women's 550 color colorway in the cream, tan, and peach colorway. This colorway looks very nice for the summertime. Um, unfortunately, it is a woman's exclusive, um, so bigger footed guys won't be able to get their size in them. Thankfully, I am a size nine in the 550, so I was able to get a woman's equivalent of my size, um, or at least for a raffle. Hopefully I win off of end, but um, this colorway is very fire. It, I, re I like N's description, how it kind of resembles iced coffee, kind of like that the peach tone when, it, when you add cream to coffee. I don't know, it's definitely a, a clean colorway, definitely gonna be good for spring and summer, and hopefully I win the raffle. And next, I'm gonna go over the collaborations that dropped during the month of March. The first notable collaboration was the Essence 2002R collaboration. This collaboration was really fire. It just randomly appeared on Essence's website. Uh, it hasn't restocked anywhere or dropped anywhere else but um, as I said earlier the 2002R is a really popular silhouette for collaborators and uh, GR designers I absolutely love the corduroy touches on this collaboration as well as the low-key colors on the shoe I think essence did an excellent job on this collaboration and next up we have a 990 v5 collaboration with a Korean brand called slow steady club this collaboration unfortunately only dropped in Korea and the only way you could get them is through the after market but thankfully resale prices aren't too bad and I actually managed to cop a pair off of eBay for a not too bad price and apparently um after the conversion rate, if you were to like just buy it in Korea, the conversion rate to US dollars um, is already over $200. So that makes resale not even that bad if you look at the original price. But um, yeah, I personally copped a pair of this, this brown, the brown colorway. I personally think uh, the white colorway is a little too plain and it could easily just be confused for uh, general release white. Uh, 990 v5 but this brown colorway is really fire i love the small hits of orange on them and the small uh subtle uh slow steady club branding around the shoe it's a very nice uh, colorway 
Um, it, it's great for the fall and winter season, um, but of, of course, uh, spring and summer is coming up. So uh, I won't be wearing the shoe too often when I get it, but it's definitely gonna be a shoe that's gonna be popular throughout the year. And if, uh, unless they come to the US, I recommend buying them right now because I think resale prices for these are just gonna skyrocket as the year goes on. And lastly, we have a 1080 collaboration with uh, streetwear brand Aries. Aries has collaborated with New Balance on a multitude of silhouettes and colorways in the past. And uh, this uh, collaboration on the 1080 Fresh Foam Performance Running Model is definitely wild. It's mostly black and red, but it also has a lot of random hits of like green and orange colors around the shoe, which I think it's really interesting. Um, you guys know me, I like my loud shoes. Um, I've never owned a pair of 1080s before, but I've heard they are very comfortable and great for running. And this colorway is very wild and colorful. And now I'm gonna go over the general releases that got revealed or leaked in the month of March. I'm sure most of you have seen that Teddy 16 collection reveal from Teddy Santis himself. Um, it's really exciting. All the colorways look really great. And um, unfortunately, the only release information we have for the collection is that it's going to release during the springtime and uh, there's no exact date for that. But hopefully that means uh, within the next one or two months since that's when springtime is. Actually, I think springtime has already started, at least for me in SoCal. But um, yeah, the Teddy 16, all the colorways look really fire. I think one or two months ago, this uh, 990 V2 colorway um, pairs got out early. And as you can probably, as you can see, I uh, got out an early pair as well. But um, in March, uh, a 990 V1 in basically the same colorway also kind of got released early, not officially of course, and some, some people got their hands on it. And man, it looks really fire. I really love this colorway. It's like a hairy light gray suede, tan and olive green mesh colorway. There's, uh, this colorway is obviously in this V1, which I'm gonna show here. And there's gonna be a Teddy V3 in the same colorway. I think it's really cool how uh, he put this really nice colorway in all three versions. And the V1, as I said in the past, uh, it really needs some more love. And I'm glad the V1's getting two colorways in the Teddy 16. And uh, this, this colorway that already leaked out early uh, looks very fire. And next up we got a big uh, leak slash reveal of a bunch of 550 GR colorways or at least I think they're GRs. Um, there are a lot of colorways. Um, I'm just gonna sh throw up the big image um, on the video, It'll probably just cover me, but there are a lot of uh, great 550 colorways in this pack, some more than others, some I don't really care about, but some look really fire. And uh, I'm glad to see that the 550 is gonna get a bunch of colorways. I'm glad New Balance is trying to flood the market with a bunch of 550 colorways so people can get, can get their hands on them. I like seeing that New Balance is re-releasing uh, 550 colorways that were released in past years, as well as wider releases for colorways that didn't originally release in America. And uh, hopefully all these colorways are easy to get and uh, everyone will be able to get their hands on at least one pair of 550s for retail in 2022. And next up, we have the reveal of the Conversations Among Us pack spearheaded by Joe Fresh Goods. It says it's um, like celebrating Black History Month, but obviously that was in February, but uh, I think maybe due to supply chain or maybe other issues, it got delayed. Um, apparently some of the shoes are supposed to release in April, um, but yeah, the few uh, pairs that we have seen reveals or information on look really nice. Uh, this 2002 R colorway looks really clean. Uh, it's mostly white with some yellow accents as well as some other colors. It's very clean. Uh, it's gonna be a good summer and spring shoe, so maybe it re releasing after February is a good thing. And there was also a small, um, maybe an accidental reveal. I'm not too sure if this is a full-on collaboration or it's part of the Conversations Among Us pack, but there's supposed to be a Joe Fresh Goods designed 550 colorway. It's also supposed to be part of Black History Month, even though it's after Black History Month. Uh, I haven't seen any actual pictures of this 550, but I think it's interesting that Joe Fresh Goods is gonna be designing a 550 and it'll probably be really cool. And next up, we got the full reveal 
of the 2022 Refined Future Pack. This pack features three different colorways of the 2002R in the Refined Future design. Uh, one of the colorways is the Japan colorway, the other colorway is um, a navy and blue colorway, and the last colorway is a very bright orange colorway. All three of these colorways look really fire, and I think uh, Flying Asparagus killed it with this pack. It's also really interesting to see how all three of them are inspired by classic New Balance colorways. Obviously, the Japan colorway is inspired by that 1300 Japan colorway. Uh, the Navy uh, colorway is inspired by old uh, 57X models, and the orange colorway is inspired by 70s New Balance running shoes, which is really interesting. All three colorways look great. I'd be happy to get my hands on any of them for retail but uh, hopefully they're easy to get and hopefully they release soon. And next up, we have a 2002R general release colorway in a bright green and black colorway. This colorway is heavily inspired by the Kowalski 993 colorway. Obviously this colorway does not feature any Kowalski branding, so it'll just be a GR inspired by an older collab, but I think it's a very nice colorway. It's very loud. And as you all know, I really like my loud shoes. The shade of green is really nice. I like how it contrasts with the black. And uh, technically this shoe actually already was um, leaked out early on in this year, but I only found uh, better images during this month. So that's why it's in this video. And lastly, I'm going to go over the collaborations that got revealed or leaked during March. First up, we have another Jound 990 V3, but this time it is in a brown and black colorway. In classic Jound fashion, this is another simple yet really fire colorway of the 990 V3. Uh, the shade of brown is very distinctive. You can easily tell it's a Jound colorway. And I think I think it's really interesting that uh, the midsole is black instead of the white and cream like in the 990 V3 green colorway. Um, there's no actual release information of this colorway yet. Um, I'm not even too sure if this is an official colorway or just a sample, but it is definitely a notable colorway. And next up, we got a reveal from ALD themselves of an upcoming 550 colorway pack. This colorway pack consists of a wine, olive, and chocolate colorway. All three of these colorways are really simple. I can definitely give a lot of credit to ALD and Teddy Santis for bringing back the 550 as a silhouette from the archives. Uh, massive props to them. But um, in terms of most of their colorways, they're all very simple and they could easily be GRs if you ignore like the very small ALD branding around the shoe. Like one of these colorways, like especially this wine colorway, it reminds me of the burgundy colorway that released last year. Uh, the material quality I've heard is better than GR's, which it should be since it's more expensive and it is an ALD collab. But uh, overall, this pack, uh, it's kind of underwhelming for me. Uh, you guys know I like louder colorways and if it's a collab, it needs to be something special in my opinion. So I personally am gonna pass on these when they come out. But um, I, I know a lot of people are gonna be excited for this collaboration and uh, the ALD 550 hype uh, doesn't seem to be dying down anytime soon. And lastly, we have a leak of a 2002R. Uh, it's supposedly a collaboration with artist Bryant Giles. I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Um, sorry if I'm butchering the name. The shoe is a mostly kind of like dark green, um, bluish colorway as the base with some uh, interesting stitching around the shoe in wacky designs and the insoles are really interesting too. Um, this uh, collaboration, uh, as I said, is just a leak. Uh, no official release information um, so far, but it's definitely an interesting collaboration and uh, it's cool to see the 2002R getting even more collaborations. So that wraps up another month of New Balance. Uh, what were you guys' favorite uh, releases or reveals of the month of March? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Conversations Among Us pack. Uh, spearheaded by Joe Fresh Goods. Uh, the 2002R looks really nice. Obviously, I'm really hyped for the next Refined Future Pack and, of course, the Teddy 16. It's definitely going to be a great year for New Balance. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.